guest describes herself as Shakira meets Muhammad Ali. We'll meet comedian Maysoon Zaid in a minute, but first let's take a look at her in action. I got 99 problems and palsy is just one. <laughs> if, if there was an oppression Olympics, I would win the gold medal. I'm Palestinian, Muslim, I'm female, I'm disabled, and I live in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Maysoon joins us now. Good morning, Maysoon. Thank you very much for being on our show. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, you are a very, very funny woman. You are also battling cerebral palsy. How much has comedy become almost a remedy for your illness? I'm battling cerebral palsy and I'm winning, apparently. Um, <laughs> comedy... You know, my comedy is really diverse, but from the day that I started, I knew that I had to tell people right off the bat that I had cerebral palsy, because otherwise they would think I was either drunk or nervous, and that doesn't make for good comedy. But um, once I get it out of the way, I don't necessarily focus all of my energy on the topic, but I do love the fact that I can educate people and also kind of shake up their image of the disabled. But Mason, when did you realise you had the gift of, of getting people to laugh with you rather than at you? I realised I had the gift of getting people to laugh um, with me when Hollywood wouldn't cast me on television. And I realised that um, ethnic disabled people don't get cast, only perfect people do and that the people who made it on TV were comics. So I never thought of myself as funny. I thought of how can I get on TV? And it seemed like comedy was the way to go. And then when I started, apparently I had a natural talent. I was really lucky and it took off. That's very, uh, that's very interesting. So you think that, and I, I reckon you bang on the money, that a Hollywood TV execs would say, all right, you can be ethnic or disabled, but not both. Well, I'm ethnic, I'm disabled, and I'm also fluffy. So all of those things together are, are no you fluffy. know, I'm not Angelina Jolie. I'm her, like, wicked stepsister. <laughs> <laughs> Mason, can, can, you, can you take us back to the start and tell us the story about how you ended up with cerebral palsy? Uh, yeah, I was uh, born in New Jersey, and the doctor who delivered me had a couple too many drinks and was wasted. So he diced up my mom, and I suffocated in the process, and I lost minutes of oxygen. And that's what damaged the part of my brain that controls coordination. And I have cerebral palsy, so I shake all the time. <laughs> it's really fun. It burns calories. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, also, um, what helps you burn calories is that you've been on Broadway, performing on Broadway. I, I did. I got to perform in a show called The Arabs Gone Wild um, on Broadway. <laughs> and when I was... Yeah, Arabs Gone Wild. And um, when I was a kid, my parents couldn't afford physical therapy, so they sent me to tap dancing school instead. So my wow. dream was always to tap dance on Broadway because I'm from New Jersey, which is right next to New York City. And so when I got a chance to do stand-up comedy on Broadway, I slapped on those tap shoes and went and tap danced instead. <laughs> oh, good on you. I love it. Mason, your, your, your jokes are very, very funny, but do you find sometimes that in some audiences people aren't sure whether they should be laughing, whether they're a little bit too PC sitting there in the audience listening to you make jokes? I've had great luck and I think that because I start off kind of disabling them by taking the disability out of the equation, I haven't had the reaction where people are like, no, we can't laugh at her, this is wrong. I make them laugh at me, I'm with me, and I make them know that it's okay. And while doing that, I'm also saying, laugh at yourself and figure out what in yourself is the same as what I'm battling. Because my disability happens to be something you can visually see, but everybody has something. Everybody has a monkey on their back. Mm -hmm. Mine is just shaking me wildly. Yeah. I, know, I, I, I know, I certainly have plenty. Um, what is the most annoying or stupid thing that, um, that people have said to you or the most annoying or idiotic response that you've gotten? Well, I, the most annoying thing I've ever been um, asked is, are you a cripple? because it's not obvious enough. So someone came up to me and I was trying to do something, I was taking too long, and he went, what's wrong with you, are you a cripple? And I turned around and went, yes, yes. And then he said, are you single? 
<laughs> I'd count that as a win. Uh, are you single? No, I'm, I'm actually married. I know. It's unbelievable because usually when people get engaged, people are like, congratulations. When I got engaged, people were like, really? Aww. Well, I'm a bit disappointed. Mason, just, just final question. I mean, do you see your role as, in, as empowering for people with disabilities? It certainly looks like it from here. Um, I, I always worry about being a role model because I tweet too much and I'm sure I'll say something wrong at some point. But um, I would like to be someone that disabled kids out there can look up to and say, I can go on TV, I can do a world tour, I can tap dance on Broadway, because she did. But I also don't want people to feel like, oh, I didn't tap dance on Broadway, so I failed. You need to do what you can do. Push yourself as far as you can go. It's not about being me. It's just being the best you that you can be. And never saying that you can't. And letting the disabled people in your life try before you offer help. You are mm. just a delight. Yeah. Nice to yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. You've made our day. Thank you. Thank you. Visit me on maysoon.com. <laughs> we will, sure we will. We will. <laughs> nice plug there. I have this overwhelming desire to go tap dancing now. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Just came over. We can do it in the break. We'll film it. Yeah. Yeah. Dance like nobody's watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can do it on the show then. <laughs> you are watching Studio 10. We have plenty more to come. We just... <laughs>